So uh, let's look at responding to change. And we're talking about responding to change in terms of how our bodies respond to change. And these are changes taking place either in the surroundings or inside our bodies. And this is part of a topic called coordination and control. So we're just going to look briefly at how we respond to change. And this has a lot to do with how our body tries to coordinate and control the processes inside of our bodies. So let's just add it a bit. They need to the processes inside our bodies. And by process, what do we mean? Well, we just mean a number of steps to achieve a certain goal. So there's these three things that I'll look at. The first one is control part of it. And the second part would be uh, the difference between a the nervous system and, and b the hormonal system. Well, let's just call it hormones, but really it's the endocrine system which um, is responsible for for the genes. Then of course we want to look at the response. How does our body respond? Okay, so so there is a, a few things we can consider. And I'll just underline the main items. And I can choose a different color to sort of write in what we mean by control. So by control we mean um, that the hormones here will be responsible for uh, control and the coordination. So hormones have to be responsible. Now in terms of the of the difference between the nervous system and the hormones, well the nervous system basically uses electrical signals electrical signals to transmit its information and hormones use the chemical method because basically hormones are chemical so they send out some chemical signals and the coordinated response starts with uh, a stimuli and the stimuli is picked up by receptors and by receptors we're talking about things like the, the ears the nose those are the receptors they are receptors in these organs so the nose um, maybe the tongue etc so they they pick up this stimuli and then what they do with it is to generate an impulse and it is this generated impulse which travels through the sensory neurons and that goes all the way to to the brain and spinal cord sometimes the, the brain and spinal cord may just be referred to as the CNS or central nervous system then obviously once it gets to the brain a response is generated but that response has to go to the effector through the motor neurons so it goes through the motor neurons all the way to the effector okay so 
So in summary, we've looked at um, how our bodies respond to change. Uh, there's an element of control. Uh, the nervous system and the endocrine system is involved and a response is generated. So for control really uh, it's the hormones which are chemical uh, signals which c control and coordinate what's happening inside of our bodies. But we also have an external sort of system and this, the external system uh, takes advantage of the nervous system but then also there's a difference between the two and this difference in, in, in the sense that uh, the nervous system uses electrical signals in order to communicate its signal or its impulse or its uh, message and um, hormones basically are chemical messengers they transmit their message through uh, chemical signals now a response is generated by um, a receptor which picks up a stimuli uh, the receptors may be in the ears, the nose, the tongue, the skin and uh, we could say that these are just sensory organs sensory organs so the sensory organs have receptors and these receptors are the ones responsible for picking up the stimuli an impulse is set up it travels through the sensory neurons, uh, gets to the brain spinal cord combination, which basically is the CNS or central nervous system. Central nervous system. And then the signal that's generated by the central nervous system as a response has to reach the effector but the effect uh, has to get that message through the motor neurons. So to conclude, I'd like to encourage you to subscribe to my channel, to share this video, um, to comment, and ask questions. The questions are more important than the answers. Comment and question. Question everything. If you put a question, question it. If I need to improve the video, I will. Uh, but this is my first, my first attempt at uh, producing a video using this software and hardware. So hopefully, uh, it's something that you will prefer to the face-to-face -face that I've been doing so far. Okay, I will stop here and hopefully meet you in the next video, which I will produce as soon as possible.